Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful endgame study for you composed by a Soviet chess composer Vladimir Korolkov. It's white to move and win the game. You can pause the video and try to find the solution. Ready? Well, let's have a look at the position. Right now both rooks are hanging. If you take on c6 for example, then black will capture on c3, c takes b7, a2, b8 queen, black is also promoting to a queen with a check and black can easily give a perpetual check and the game will end up in a draw. Let's go back. So instead of taking on c6, if you take on a3 you can even lose the game after rook a6 check and you are losing the, your rook. That's why in this position white comes up with a brilliant idea. White is just going to sacrifice all these pawns. Let's see how it goes. Rook d3 check. King takes e2. Rook e3 check. Well, if you make a move like king d2, white can simply take on c6. Already this rook on e3 is protected. But when you are accepting the sacrifice, you are keeping this rook under attack. Now again, rook f3 check. King takes g2. Rook g3 check, king takes h2, and only now white is capturing on c6. King takes g3, c takes b7, a2, and now you are promoting your pawn with a check. And white is winning. What a brilliant endgame study, sacrificing all those pawns in order to promote the pawn to a queen with a check. This is just amazing, let's have a look at it once again. And now king takes g3, pawn takes b7, and white is promoting to a queen with a check. And winning the game. Your comments and questions please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.